Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this Scan Tool Network video. In this video, it's another demonstration of the iCarsoft BMM version 2.0. We're in Mini right now and we have the traction control and the ABS warning lights showing on this dashboard here. So we're going to use this tool to diagnose those faults. Now, this tool is available uh, just by clicking the link directly below this video. I will put links to the kits uh, in the description because that will take you to a genuine and official product. There are fakes and clones on the market, unfortunately, and they can't your vehicle damage so please make sure if you are interested in the kit to use the links in the description below this video so with the tool plugged into the diagnostic port which it is on the other end of this cable we're going to click on to diagnostics bring the screen a bit closer for you and we'll click on to mini and then we'll go automatically search manual and we need to find the ABS system which is here ABS stroke DSC dynamic stability control so just click OK to that, click on to read fault code and we've got one fault so it's one of one and it's 48082A. It's a current fault and it's telling us wheel speed sensor, voltage supply, rear right. So it sounds like the, uh, this, the, the electrical system in the vehicle is not recognising the rear right ABS sensor even though it is in there. So that to us tells us that the rear right ABS sensor is faulty. Um, you can go ahead and change over the ABS sensor and that will probably do the trick in 99.9% .9 of the time it will be that. Um, another way you can double check is by looking at the live data. So you go to view data and then you need to select the option for the wheel speed sensors. And here we have values for each of the ABS sensors. So um, what I would say is you could either dr drive the car and look at this screen um, or you can record the data whatever you want to do if you don't feel comfortable with looking at the screen while driving which is fair enough uh, record the data then review the data back but what you'll probably find is um, three of these sensors so the rear left the front left and the front right will probably show values when the when the vehicle is moving but the rear right sensor which is the one we had a fault with will probably show zero all the time and that is a true indication that the ABS 